Hey guys, it's Jake and welcome to Ruby Coding Day 3. Today we're going to be going over if, else, and else if. Before we get started, I just want to talk a little bit more about why coding is so valuable and why you've got to learn it right now. Have you ever heard of Elon Musk? Elon Musk is the Tony Stark of the real world. Elon Musk, let's just go over here real quick. Elon Musk founded PayPal and after that he said, hmm, should I just spend all my money on hookers and booze? Well, I don't know if he did spend that on hookers and booze, but he certainly didn't spend all of it. Elon Musk went to go and start Tesla Road or Tesla Roadster, Tesla. Tesla is an electric car company and they make fully electric vehicles, sport vehicles. And he basically saved them from bankruptcy. Well, he originally co-founded it, and then he later saved them, saved them from bankruptcy with his own money. And one of the things he said was, you know, Tesla's never been about just making a ton of money. It's always been about progressing and, and innovating. And so um, here it is right here. Here he is. And look at that BAMF. Oh, my goodness. That is just, isn't that, isn't that Tesla just... Oh, I love it. And then he's compared to Iron Man, obviously, because he's like, hmm, should I make an electric car? Or, I don't know, should I build rockets? Uh, no, let's do both. He is the founder of SpaceX as well. X Space, SpaceX. And so this guy is just, this is commercial space flight. And he's got tons of, he's got a lot of contracts from NASA. You know, so some of this is, the money is coming from is coming from government and so it is in a way social but at the same time he is a capitalist and he is part of the free market so there is a bidding war going on and we love that because that's how money is made so this is some of the stuff he's working on right now but what i recommend is to definitely go and check out elon musk he is just awesome and he's definitely somebody to look up to and guess what he got his start as a coder he started coding at the age of 12 and paypal again that's a software and what i was trying to say earlier in one of these other videos is that the online and software is the wild west i mean you can literally build any company if you look at people like Mark Zuckerberg, he founded Facebook in his college uh, dorm. So there is really no barrier as far as uh, the physical world. So when you think about, you know, the Victoria Secrets or Toys R Us and all of those well-known stores, they all have, they're all brick and mortar. And so they all require an initial investment. And money is so free flowing now in the US. It's actually really hard to become the next best buy. It takes tons and tons of capital, tons and tons of resources and knowing people. But the internet and software is the only place where one person can essentially change the entire world. So with that, I'm gonna go on to today's lesson. The reason I talked about this is because today's lesson is actually really quick. So let's just go ahead and minimize that. So today we're gonna be going over if, else, and else if. And we're going to create a situation where we are asked to create a website that asks any potential user so anyone that comes to the website that wants to create a portfolio for this dating website, the first question that they are going to ask is, what is your age? And then they will, you will have a user input that says whether or not they are 18 or older. If they are younger than 18, we are going to tell them that they are not old enough to participate on this website. So what we're going to do is put your underscore age is equal to 19. Now this is the user's input. And then we are going to put if your underscore age is less than or equal to 17. Hit enter, go to the next line, type puts You are not old enough for this site.
and then write else puts what is your gender so this is saying your age and they've put 19 we've told the pro we've told in the language we've told the program to output you are not old enough for this site if the user inputs uh, less than or or equal to 17 else it's going to output what is your gender so we're gonna go up here hit file save as dating underscore age dot RB and hit save Then you're going to start command prompt with Ruby. And pull that in. Enter. And it outputs what is your gender. So let's go back. We've put your age is equal to 19. And it's only going to output what is your gender. So if we were to change this to 16, hit save, pull in dating age, and hit enter, it returns, you were not old enough for this site. So we want to make one more adjustment. We're going to do a else if. On the else if, make sure that you don't have the E right here. And you're going to type your age, your age is greater than 100 and then put puts you're going to link them to some snake oil site that sells some age uh, reduction oil snake oil site xx or eee.com. -E -E I don't know if that's a real site, but hey, it's a dating site, so the owners are only out to make as much money as possible. So we'll just link them to a site. Let's we'll pretend they're affiliates. Or maybe they own the site. It'll just say go to this site. There we go. Go to this site. Okay, then hit file, save. Oh wait, let's make our age 101. Hit file, save. And go to the command prompt, hit Ruby, or Ruby day, go to your file, dating age, and hit enter. So if your age is 101, it returns go to this site and there'll be a link that they can click on to go and purchase some fake, this will make you younger pills. So we can actually create multiple else ifs. So let's put else if your underscore age. So this site has looked at its analytics and it's found that 21 year olds are the most active on their site. And they've also found that 21 year olds click on the most um, ads on the site. 
And so they really want to get 21-year-olds in there because 21-year-olds just love to party because they're like, yeah, we can drink finally. Let's go party and find people. So this dating site wants to get as many 21-year-olds in as possible. So we're going to create else, another else if that says else if your age is equal to 21 print, let's do puts, You just got updated to the premium version, exclamation point. After that, change your age to 21, save, open the Ruby command prompt, And dating age, hit enter. And it says, you just got updated to the premium version. Okay, so that's it for today. I hope everything is making perfect sense. If you haven't already, please go ahead and subscribe to the channel. I'm also going to put some links to some books on Amazon that I think are really good that talk about Ruby. I didn't write these books, and I don't know the authors, so but I just know that they're good and they're popular and they have good reviews. And so I'm going to go uh, put those down there for you. I'll also put a link to the Wikipedia article on Elon Musk. I just think he's an awesome entrepreneur and a dude. Oh, look, see, I even have pictures of him on my desktop. Yeah, um, that's not weird. So we'll just slide that over a little bit. And uh, we will see you next time. And uh, have a good night.